Hello, Facebook viewers. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish here. Okay, I know. You can't find the solar eclipse glasses, right? I mean, we ran out in 20 or 25 minutes here at CBS 47 and Fox 30 Action News Jacks with hundreds of them this morning and noon hour. They were gone in no time at all. And over here, I'm on Instagram. Is that correct? Carlin. Okay, so we have Instagram Live, we have Facebook Live, and what I'm going to do is try to show you just some alternative ways to view the solar eclipse that are very safe, very easy, and cheap, too, and you don't have to have solar eclipse glasses to view it. Just remember, though, safety is the key on Monday. You can walk around in the eclipse without any problem at all, but if you're going to want to look directly at the sun, that's when you have to have something to protect your eyes, and it, and it could be something like a welder's mask, too, would work well. Sunglasses, general sunglasses, they're not strong enough to keep out those harmful ultraviolet rays, so we don't want you using sunglasses to look straight and directly at the solar eclipse. Make sure you have fil the proper filter so that you're going to be open. Okay, so let's get to how you can easily project the image of the sun on Monday, August 21st, the full uh, solar eclipse. And remember, there's always more information, actionnewsjacks.com. We have a great uh, eclipse site right there. But what I have here, I'll show you everything I have, and then I'm going to explain it, all right? A funnel from a kitchen. Maybe you have a little funnel at the, in your kitchen. This will work well. I'll explain that. You need some tape. Some scotch tape is fine. Some aluminum foil. Uh, a, a ballpoint pen will work well for, for making the actual projector, and I'll explain that. You need a little pair of scissors and a cereal box for this particular uh, demonstration that I'm going to do here. So I'm going to open this up. This, this literally takes minutes. It's kind of a fun family activity. You can do it with the kids. So you're going to open up. You want to be careful when you open up your cereal box. You don't want to um, tear the top off too fast, too much. Take your cereal out. That's good. So you got to snack with the kids while you're uh, making this or maybe while you're watching the eclipse on Monday. And then you just want to tear off or cut, depending on how, it just depends how um, neat you want to be. I'm going to, for the essence of sake of time here, I'm going to move right along and just tear these edges uh, off. So we take the edges off. And then you've got your box here. And if you want to make sure you're going to be able to close it easily, which it really doesn't matter, you'll want to shut it first to see where you want to cut the lines. But basically all we're going to do is cut the left side out and the right side out, each side, and leave the middle in there together. So I'm going to start cutting here real quick. Again, this is going to be a little crude, a little fast, but it's easy to do. And you can play this back on Facebook if you, if you need to. But this is a good project for school teachers, too, who don't have... Um, the money, obviously, to go buy glasses, a bunch of glasses, or have had the time, or, or they're out. And uh, it's an easy way to get the kids involved, too. It's kind of a hands-on activity. So we've got one side cut. Now we're going to cut the other side real quickly here. And by the way, this is Letitia. Hey, you guys. see her all the time on our air. And Letitia is actually going to put this together for a story on CBS 47 and Fox 30 Action News Jack. So once in a while, I hear Letitia here, too, and we'll talk about what we're doing and that's going to be for a news story that we'll put on CBS 47 and Fox 3, Action News Jacks, and online. Okay, so uh, you have your box cut out here, and I'm going to tape this just for the sake of making sure it stays there. So you, I've left the latch on there so that you can easily um, keep it latched. See how that fit right in there? So it really works pretty well, but I'll tape it just to make sure. All right. And in your, believe it or not, we're almost done. That's how quick this is. So you want a little piece of aluminum foil to cover one of these openings. Take your pick. I'm gonna, in this case, I'm just gonna choose to pick the right side. Kind of want to be approximately correct, but that doesn't have to be exact either. On the size of the aluminum foil, we're very simply going to cover this one corner. We want it to stay on there. So for this, we'll tape it down real quick. Okay. So we've got this side and this side and voila we have a projector projector believe it or not it's that simple that easy that quick um, and all all we have to do now is put the pinhole in the aluminum foil because you need to have something for that sunlight to shine through to the other side of the box so you can see the image of the sun now this is kind of important you want a, a nice fine hole. Uh, the smaller your project, projector, the better. Uh, this is going to be fairly big, but it's also going to be fairly sharp. This pen should work pretty nice for giving me a nice smooth, you want to kind of as smooth a circle as you can possibly get. And if you're not happy with it, you can always cut more aluminum foil. And in fact, I would say this is a little bigger than I want it to be. So I would probably take this aluminum foil off and, and do another one. A small pin prick would even work. Something, something really small, because this kind of has a tendency to tear through your aluminum foil. But something that's got a nice round edge on it, so you get a nice projection image of the sun. And you'll see now I've got the hole in here in the aluminum foil. 
That's where the sun's gonna shine through, right here. It's going to end up on the other side of the box and you can look through here. And I'm seeing the light from the camera, the, the news camera that we have here, shining through the hole and, I can, and it's projecting on the other side of the box, the sun. And I can look right through here safely and see the image of the sun on the other side of the box. Uh, so, it works really well. So your back is basically to the sun. Right, your okay. back is to the sun, which is nice because now you're not tempted to look yeah. at the sun. You're not checking it out. Remember, you're safe out in the sun on the eclipse day. Mm -hmm. You're fine. It's just like any other day. It's when and if you try to look directly at the sun. So this takes that variable completely out of it. The sun is shining through this little hole. It projects an image at the back of the cereal box, and it's, it works wonderfully. It's kind of cool. So um, what are people going to see closer to, I think, the 247? Part? Right, that's the peak of our eclipse. 91% yeah. of the sun will be eclipsed at 247 in Jackson. Jacksonville. It's a little higher, closer to the Florida-Georgia border. It's just a little lower to the south and southwest of Jacksonville, but it's significant for the whole area, all of northeast Florida and southeast Georgia, and it's going to be cool. Yeah. And that greatest percentage is only a couple of minutes long, between mm -hmm. two and three minutes long. It's 91% covered this sun. And you'll see shadows will be longer, and uh, it'll, it'll, it won't be real dark. You'll be surprised how light it still is, but you'll certainly, it, it won't feel like, or look like 245 in the afternoon like it typically would, and the temperature will even drop several degrees in Jacksonville. In totality, it drops 10 to 15 degrees, especially this time of year. And how about a couple of other quick little things that you can do? This is really simple, Letitia. I mean, you have a funnel in your, in your kitchen, maybe in your house. This is easy to use. It's a great projection system, and you don't have to do anything. You just take it outside. Now, again, you're going to hold it so that the, sun is, the sun's rays are going in right this side, of course, and then it's going to be projected out, the image right here. And you just put, point it toward the ground, and a sun, an image of the sun will appear on the ground. You'll be able to watch the eclipse that way. Again, with your back at the sun, and it makes for a really nice, easy view of the eclipse. Another really simple way, uh, and, and you could do as many of these as you want. Take a piece of paper, like I have here, just a white piece of paper, any piece of paper. You could take a piece of cardboard, whatever the case might be. Put a little hole, and again, the smaller the hole, the better your projection, the better your image is going to be. So I put the hole in here, and this one turned out pretty well. It's pretty small, it's tiny, but it's also nice and circular. And you just hold this up to the sun, and it will shine a projection through the hole to the ground, and again, you'll get a really reasonably good image of the eclipsed sun. It's that simple, and it's that, that cheap. Um, and, and realize, even if you're walking around during the eclipse, which starts at 1.15, ends at about 4.15 for Jacksonville and, and surrounding areas, if you can find places where there's shade created by leaves of trees, anything that's that's creating shade that's going to project the sun in some form or another, will also give you an image of the eclipse. Yeah which is pretty cool. So as you can see, there's, there are other ways besides having solar eclipse glasses, because those are a hot commodity and hard to come by right now. There are other solutions, other ideas that are simple and even a little bit fun that the whole family can do and doesn't cost a lot of money. And then you have a snack if you do the cereal one too while you're working at or while you're watching the eclipse come Monday afternoon. Yeah. So more at actionnewsjacks.com. We have a 2017 eclipse page which has so much yeah. great information on it. I just updated the Burrish blog and as you might guess, it's all about the eclipse. Some some fun things in there. I think they're fun. I'm, a, I'm kind of a, a science nerd if you all haven't figured that out already. So, But in totality, which is where I'm going to be, I'm going to be in a total eclipse in South Carolina, you lose 1.7 ounces of weight. What? Because of the gravitational pull That's of so the moon cool. and the sun aligned with the earth, you actually lose a tad bit of weight during the solar eclipse. And We're the probably, earth, ah. yeah, yeah, a quick <laughs> diet, a crash yeah, diet. Right? And then uh, the, the earth's crust, where that total shadow yeah. goes by, it bulges about 1.7 inches or so. Oh, wow. It actually expands because of the gravitational pull of the Earth and the Moon being aligned uh, and the Sun. Uh, to me, it's pretty cool. And you know, just the fact that it can occur is pretty fascinating because the Sun is 400 times bigger than the Earth, right? Yeah. So if you, you just think to yourself, well, there's no way the Moon can completely cover the Sun. It's too tiny, which is really the case. But even though it's 400 times bigger, it's also 400 times further away from the Earth and the Moon. So it's perfect math and you get the eclipse. And one more little burrish nugget for you. Let's hear it. Uh, this was interesting. The, the moon is moving away from the earth naturally about an inch and a half, give or take, a year. Which means in 650 million years, we won't be able to have a solar eclipse. Wow. But it'll be a while. It will be a so, while. But remember, this happens two to five times somewhere on the Earth every year. Yeah. So it's rare for single locations. It hasn't happened in the U.S. a full solar eclipse in the lower 48 since 1979. So it's rare in a single spot, but it's not rare globally. So you know, some of those diehard predictions of what's going to happen on Monday and whatnot, well, 
this happens multiple times a year. So far, yeah. so good. So, <laughs> but uh, so have some fun with this, you guys, on Facebook, our Facebook Live, and um, and uh, just go out and about and immerse yourself in this uh, project. It's 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 going to be a fun day on Monday afternoon. And remember, do it safely. But it's it's fun and easy to do. It's not like you have to stay inside. Are there some questions there, Rachel? All right. What happens if you're driving? What happens if you're driving? During the eclipse. Okay, if you're driving, you can still, you can, you, I would recommend you stop and take a look if at all possible safely, but you're okay in a car. It's not like you'll, if you're not looking straight at the sun, it's, it, you're fine. There's no, there are no problems as you're going, walking around, driving around, whatever the case might be. Do I have Instagram kids questions too, Rachel? No questions okay. so far. All right. Anything else, Rachel? Can you just recap them all real quick? Okay, we're going to recap real quickly. Grab a cereal box. Empty the cereal box. Put a, cut a hole in each side, a corner in each side that leaves the middle of the, the top, the lid of the box, so to speak. Put a little pinhole, the smaller the hole. This is not a great example, but a smaller hole, in the, the smaller the hole, the better in the aluminum foil. That projects the image, and, and I don't know if you can see it in here, Rachel, or not, because we have Rob, our videographer, has shining his light through here. But we can see the image that's projected on the other side of the box, inside the box. So then you're going to hold it up, and this allows you to keep your back to the sun, the, the sun's image is projected through the pinhole, and you can see it at the back. Simple, easy, fun way to make your own projector for the solar eclipse. Or in your kitchen, use a funnel. It's that simple. You can put it out like this for the sun's rays. It'll come down through here. It'll become more narrow in the base of the funnel. That image is then projected to the ground. It gives you a nice little view uh, of, the, of the eclipse. And finally, something even as simple as a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. Put a little pinhole in the middle of it, and that'll project the image of the sun to the surface, and you'll be able to see it. But whatever you do, don't look at the sun with your naked eyes, and do not look at the sun with just stare at the sun with just regular sunglasses. You want to make sure that you're doing it safely, and it's the proper filter on your camera, including smartphones and whatnot. There's a way to do that with your smartphones, and I've got that posted in guess where Burris blog, but also our 2017 Eclipse uh, guide that's online too. So there, there are lots of ways. Other questions, Rachel? Okay. Well, thanks to Instagram and thanks to Facebook viewers and uh, watchers and listeners. And just enjoy this moment on Monday afternoon. It is going to be fun. It's not, it doesn't have to be dangerous. It shouldn't be dangerous. And uh, it's, it's really a, pheno a, a, a phenomenal opportunity to see science at work uh, that we don't get to see every single day. It's a learning experience for kids. It's a good family activity. And uh, I just think it's pretty fascinating, of course. But I'm a little, you know, I'm, I'm a, like I said, I'm kind of a, a nerd in this sort of stuff when it comes to... To, to this stuff that's going on in the skies. So, and remember, we're on today on CBS 47 and Fox 30 Action News Jack. CBS 47 begins at 5, Fox 30 gets into the act at 6 o'clock. We're tracking storms this afternoon, of course, too. That's the other big equation. What's gonna, the weather going to be like Monday afternoon? Because if we can't see the sun, the eclipse will be happening behind the clouds, and that's no good. We can't see it. The early hint on that is that we're looking fairly favorable for Monday afternoon. So that's some good news, and of course, we'll keep you updated on that each and every day leading up to Monday. Talk to you later.